hello guys i hope you are doing well in the previous video we start discussing and explaining the meaning of can and can the modal verbs we said that can means that you have the ability to do something or you have the permission to do something or it's okay to do something yani something is not against the law if you did it it's okay if you didn't do it it's okay and we talked about can't can't means that you are not able to do something or it's necessary not to do something yani this thing means that you are not or you don't have the ability to do, to do something or this thing is against the law you can't do it starting now in this video we are going to start with have to and don't have to what is the meaning of each and what is the difference between each of them starting with have to have to means necessity yani it's necessary to do something or obligation yani you have to do this thing you don't have the op- yani the option you don't have a choice to change your mind you have to do this thing uh this is the form of have uh, the function sorry so it's necessity or obligation and usually we use have to with laws or rules the fo- the form of the sentence using have to it's with subject plus have to or has to have to for the plural subject and has to for the singular subject plus infinitive verb plus complement example i have to be there at 7 a.m it means that it's necessary to be there at 7 a.m if i'm not there there will be a problem you have to bring your book to the class yani um it is necessary to bring your book to the class if you didn't bring your book to the class you will be punished or it's going to be a problem you have to study for the exams if you didn't study you will fail so it's necessary to study he has to wear formal suits in meetings he doesn't have a choice it's an obligation he has to and see here he is a singular so we put has we didn't use have sally has to get a high mark in the exam it's necessary for sally to get a high mark in the exam she doesn't have uh, a choice and sally is a singular so we use has we have <coughs> sorry we have to clean the room now we don't have a choice it's a, it's uh, something we are necessary uh, uh, we have to do at this moment we don't have a choice to uh not do this thing so have to for obligations or necessity don't have to don't have to usually it means that there's no obligation lack of necessity yani this is not important to do and it's not against the rules or not against the laws yani if you didn't do this thing it's totally okay uh the function uh, for don't have to as i said lack of necessity or no obligation yani ma fi obligation in this sentence the function uh, or the form of the sentence using don't have to subject plus don't or doesn't have to depending on the subject if the subject is a plural we use don't if the subject is singular we use doesn't so don't or doesn't have to plus infinitive verb plus complement check the examples here they don't have to know the details it means that it's not necessary for them to know the details it's okay for not knowing the details we don't have to stay at home in the weekends it means that we have the option to go outside it's not necessary to stay inside our homes in the weekends she doesn't have to bring her parents 
it's not necessary for her to bring her parents yani if she didn't bring her parents nothing will go wrong it's okay i don't have to be tall if i want to play football it's not a condition for me to uh be tall if i want to play football it's okay it's not necessary for you to be tall if you want to be a football player he doesn't have to do the homework today it means that i have more than one day or it's not necessary to do the homework today so don't have to or doesn't have to means that there is no obligation and it's not necessary to do this thing I check the examples here guys you can't smoke in the col- in the college please use the smoking shelter outside here it means that this is not your choice okay you are not able to to smoke in the college it's necessary not to smoke in the college you have to be on time for your lessons if you are late for class you need to explain to your teacher why you are late so here you have to it's an obligation you don't have a choice to be late you don't have to stay in college after class but you can study in the library in the evenings if you want and here it's your choice if you want to stay uh, in the college afternoon or after class or not and you can study yani it means that it's okay to study and if you want yani it's up to you if you want to study it's okay you have to wear an id badge in the college if you forget your id go to the go to the reception and ask for a temporary badge it means that you have to here it's an obligation it's a rule yani you can't not or you can't um not wear your bed you have to you don't have a choice you can't use your mobile phone in the class turn it off or put it on silent before your lesson here it's not an option it's something you have to do yani it's not your choice not uh to use your phone no it's not ab- you are not allowed you are not able to use your mobile phone in the class